I voted both for Al Mohler and Ed Linton. I just voted for Al the first time and Ed uh, the second time. And uh, I'm grateful that uh, uh, I would have been happy with either one, uh, which means I wouldn't have been as happy with the other two. And we can talk about that some other time. Happy to explain why. Thank you, Danny. Uh, thank you. And it's just a reminder that we have a lot more in common than the things that separate us. Um, so I'm also encouraged by that. And I think that um, the enemy wanted to have the record of a dumpster fire. And I don't think he got that today. And I'm glad about Amen. that. Amen. Ed, these new discoveries have revealed that you should never have allowed your name to be placed in nomination. And regardless of how much you would like to be at the head of some of the things we need, especially like racial reconciliation or something else, um, you've disqualified yourself, my friend. You don't need to be in that position. And right now, the damage has already been done. If you decide to stay as president of the Southern Baptist Convention, you'll be ineffective. Someone will always be questioning. Lytton you. didn't do that. Lytton took the illustration and told it as if he had experienced that. That is nothing less than a bald-faced lie. And there's no way he could tell that, unless his conscience is seared with a clean conscience. There's no way he could tell that illustration. Knowing that he's lying, he, he knew that it wasn't his illustration. No, I can tell you the way this absolutely should have already gone. Southern Baptist leaders should be standing up for public integrity. Mm. This is an integrity issue. How many times were we told from the, from the platform in Nashville, the world is watching? Well, the world is watching this. It's worse than that. There was actually a joke made from the platform of the General Assembly of the PCA this past week about Ed Litton's plagiarism. The world isn't just watching, the world is laughing. And this is a horrible public witness. They want to say... We actually have major Southern Baptist leaders defending plagiarism. All of these men have advanced degrees from Southern Baptist institutions where you would be expelled for doing the same thing. I want to know, if I plagiarized crap in my underground uh, undergrad work, would you take my diploma degree? Because if not, if you wouldn't take this diploma away for plagiarism and making stuff up, the diploma is not worth anything. It's not, I mean, and by the way, Ryan Putman won't get me back. He won't call me back. He won't tweet me back. This is a Southern Baptist institution of higher education. And they can't say that they pull a degree for plagiarism because they're too busy worried about denominational politics. I paid $60,000 for this degree because I thought it had something to do with integrity. Here is what I think about my college degree from WBC. Because I can't even get the administration to admit that plagiarism is a sin. The problem is not that Al Mohler or Ryan Putman or whoever else won't call Al, uh, Ed Litton to resign. The problem is they won't even call him to repent because they're gutless cowards.